In September, New Jersey Sportsbooks set an all-time record with more than $748 million wagered. Bets for the entire year at $3.3 billion are well ahead of last year. Sportsbook operators made $45 million last month, and sports betting provided millions in tax revenue for the state. I asked Dustin Gauker, an analyst with PlayNJ, how New Jersey managed to set a record last month and whether that growth can continue. It's good to talk to you. Thanks for having me on. You know, New Jersey just keeps setting record after record when it comes to sports betting. Uh, why are we seeing this resurgence? Well, a lot of it's just the, the way the calendar fell for sports. Uh, if you remember in August, most of the major sports came back, Major League Baseball, uh, NHL, NBA, they were all playing at the same time, just a huge amount of games going on in August. That set a record. And then we had the start of the football season with the NFL and, and most of college football starting in September, resulting in almost a quarter of a uh, three quarters of a billion in handle or wagers in New Jersey. So it's, it's mostly, it's just a lot of sports and a lot of pent up demand, I think for sports betting, because for, for so many months there, there just weren't many American sports to bet on. And, and now there are suddenly. Although I remember you and I talking a couple of months ago when there wasn't a lot going on and sports betting was still doing well. Yeah, there was still there was still gambling going on. Uh, it was on, on lots of other things going on. Uh, for instance, table tennis was, a, was an amazing part of the sports betting landscape for a while where there were tens of millions being bet on table tennis because that, that was one of the few things going on. So the, 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 one of the things about gambling in the, during the pandemic is that people are seeking out ways to gamble, even though land-based casinos are often shut down. And oftentimes that means going online for, for sports betting or online casino in New Jersey. So New Jersey has surpassed Nevada in terms of these uh, sports betting records. Can we say that New Jersey is the king of sports betting or is it too early for that? I mean, I'd say it's pretty, it's about to be that way. Uh, Nevada doesn't report their numbers for September until later this month. So we'll have a sense. The NFL season in football season is their biggest time of year. But I, I think New Jersey, you know, they've sort of far surpassed anything uh, that Nevada has ever done with this latest month in September. So I don't know. I, I, I'll hedge a little bit, but I think New Jersey probably is the king of sports betting now. And how have we been able to achieve this? What have we done right that has enabled us to capture these dollars? Well, you you, the, the law and the way New Jersey has set up its sports betting industry has been really smart. They've kept taxes low on operators. They've made it easy to operate. There's a, a very competitive market. We're up to almost 20 uh, online sports books in the state. So all of these things have contributed. Uh, online casino, too, is, is the part that's not talked about as much, but that has helped uh, the whole gambling industry as a whole because people are able to, you know, you, you're playing online casino, maybe you want to bet on sports, you play, you're betting on sports, maybe you want to play a table game or a slot. It's just, it's a lot like a, a regular casino in that way. So New Jersey has really done it smartly, I think, and all of that has helped uh, turn into these record numbers. We, as you referred, have really seen strong internet gaming numbers. Uh, most of sports betting is, of course, online. Will there be some sort of positive ripple effect that goes to the casinos overall? Uh, or is it really kind of two separate industries emerging? One that's online, um, that's separate from what we consider, you know, the table games and the casinos or the one-armed bandits. It's interesting. We're going to learn a lot about that. I mean, I'll say this land-based casinos before the pandemic saw online gaming as, uh, as additive to their bottom line. It's a way to engage with customers you may not have been able to reach before or that might not come into a casino. And that's even, that's been exacerbated in, in the time of the pandemic because obviously there's, there's limited people able to go to Atlantic city or, or just don't want to. So they're seeking out other ways. So I think that, you know, we've seen a doubling almost since, uh, since earlier this year to what we've seen, uh, almost $90 million uh, in revenue from, from online casino. I think we set a new normal, and I think, this is, I think it's a good new additive product. Uh, I mean, not new. It's been around for almost six years now, but it's an additive product in terms of, of the gaming companies and revenue to the state with the online casino. But it's got to be an increasingly important piece of the revenue pie for the casinos, though. If that's really where the growth story is, I would think that's where they want to focus some of their energies. Absolutely. And they absolutely are. Uh, you know, uh, MGM uh, owns the Borgata. They have really gotten uh, uh, done a big push for online betting. They've uh, their advertising around the sports book and the casino is really ramped up. So, yeah, and it, with, uh, without the, uh, an easy way to get people in, I mean, obviously restaurants are now open in casinos, but 
uh, you know, there's, it's just easier to engage with an online customer. So it's, uh, yeah, I think, I think every gaming company is, should be looking at this and, you know, we have, there's other states that have legalized it, but New Jersey's still on the forefront of this and it's definitely helped. I mean, we're talking, again, we're talking $90 million of, of operator revenue in the month. I'll, you know, that's going to casinos. That's bigger than any single casino does in terms of revenue. And, and some casinos make more from their online operations now than they do from their land-based operations. So it's, it's absolutely important. And finally, Dustin, how does New Jersey perhaps hold on to the lead if we see other states move forward and legalize sports betting? I mean, it's going to be hard. You have, you have states that are just larger populations that have legalized it, you know, Pennsylvania, uh, Illinois, uh, Michigan. They, they may all surpass New Jersey someday, but I, you know, New Jersey is going to be there for a while because they, they were early adopters. And you just they've done it right. So they're, they've grown the market more quickly than I think anybody anticipated. So uh, they're not going to be in the lead forever. I mean, New York to the obviously, if New York ever legalizes online sports betting, uh, that I mean, New York's going to be the king of sports betting. But they they're still up in the air whether they're going to do that anytime in the short term. So if, so for the immediate term, New Jersey is definitely going to be the, the biggest destination for sports betting. Dustin, thanks so much. Good to talk no, to you. No problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.